inspirer of liberty. He doesn't want us to be slaves or servants to any tyrannical masters, be it at the state level or the federal level. We are free people. Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Brandon! I'm State Representative Steve Cara, and I'm here to advocate that we can get this done. I introduced a bill for a full forensic garbage. audit. That's the a garbage gonna bill. Be a subpoena That's garbage. Or a petition drive. 5091 is a garbage. Through the House, a resolution that gives subpoena powers to a committee. We've got the votes if our Republicans will just stand up and do it. We need to demand that, and if they don't, then we should run an initiation of legislation get the signatures and force their hand. We can do that, but it's going to take 340,000 valid signatures. We have to come to Burn him! Burn him! He's not. Burn Sharky is not on our side. Signed on to the Amstead Project from the Thomas More Society. Burn him! Burn him! That we get a full forensic audience off audit. Please be respectful and kind to the representatives who are brave enough to be here with us. Thank you so much, Doc. It's time. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah. for the record, yes. my name is State Representative Dare Rendon. I dare you to forget that. Sometimes you have to be daring. You have to be bold. And you have to trust your guts. And my guts told me on November 4th that we were being fed a line. And I can see by all of you out there that you came to the same conclusion. Maybe you started feeling that way in that week in November. And maybe you didn't know what to do or, or who to talk to about it. I know I felt that way and I'm a lawmaker. Luckily for me, I was able to connect with individuals from the Amistad Project and from Hillsdale College who helped us mount a protest. We even tried to sit our Republican electors in the Capitol building on December 6th and were turned away. I want to ask all of you to look above and wave. We're being viewed by a black helicopter. Hey! Nice to see you. Nice to see that you care. Your family is going to be affected by this stolen election as well. So we want you to be on our side. Thank you so much for joining us. So now they're telling us that there was nothing wrong with the election that we all saw had our candidate way ahead the night of the election. Come on, we're not that stupid. That's we know better, and now we've seen the evidence. Evidence from Maricopa County, evidence from Antrim County. We've seen a lot of evidence. Why doesn't anyone else want to see it? That's the question, and that's what we have to convince people of. We need a forensic audit, and we need it now. You prove by what? God is the inspirer of liberty. He doesn't want us to be slaves or servants to any tyrannical masters, be it at the state level or the federal level. We are free people, and we will keep our sovereignty intact at what we, whatever the cost is, and right now, we are going to do this peacefully and legally, and we are going to do this with a full forensic audit, and they're not going to stop us. They're not going to stop us. Our next speech. I just wanted to share with you, I was paid by the people of Michigan as an election integrity expert. I worked with the Department of State, the Secretary of State's office, right under five secretaries of state. 
I know that there was fraud in 2020. I know this. I will not be muted with others, but I will tell you in 2016, Donald Trump won Michigan. And in 2020, Donald Trump won Michigan. We need to keep the pressure on because there's only a handful of them right now. And we're gonna change that because we're not gonna shut up and we're not gonna go away. We are gonna get our full forensic audit. Keep standing taller, keep speaking louder for Michigan, for the United States. As Michigan goes, so does the rest of the country. As this nation goes, so does the rest of the world. So we have a very serious issue here and it's up to us to fix it. The Michigan GOP is a bunch of bullshit. They're fucking rhinos. They're no different than Democrats. What do you wish they would do differently? What's that? No. What do you wish they would do differently for Trump or for This place is full of, this place is full of Republicans that know this fucking election was stolen. Full of rhinos. People that aren't doing shit. What? Citizens on it. We do our shit. I agree. Clean up the QBF. Work with our local clerks. I'm going to encourage you all to do that. Michigan is bullshit. This building behind us, I think we figured out, is not helping us. Don't wait Are you for them. Me or for Get me? active in your local communities. I'm, I'm against we have that's going on in Lansing right now. The first one is just and for the past 40 years, yeah. it needs to be scrubbed from the top. And we to the use bottom. this to help people find their neighbors. I have one of these for every township and city in my county. Get your folks connected. Go we after your local a full court. Audit find out ago. which ones will help long us and ago. which ones won't. That's why right? we have to go out and get 500,000 signatures to make them do it. And we only have 11 months left, or 13. By the Booth over there, and, half months left and you can get come this pick done. one up and you think turn out in the audience, point, okay? But thank you so much for being uh, here. No. Just no. keep pushing hard. Not till 2024. Thank you but so much. But if you don't fix this shit before 22, we're, 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 all, fu we're all fucked so anyway. Great, so great Look what Biden's doing to this country. So, you know, a year ago today, we would have never imagined being where we're at in our country today. <laughs> Um, you know, being the Dominion voting whistleblower, uh, you know, seeing everything that I did see at the TCF Center um, and trying to expose this fraud for the last year has literally taken up all of my time and I, I believe that we have done that pretty well. We've done a well job doing that or exposing the fraud. We have so much support for this. But the questions that our Republican legislators were asking during that was that hearing, it, th th those were totally unacceptable. We know those machines have to go. We can go back to hand counting. They're connected to the internet. It is, it, the fraud, the white vans full of ballots that came in, those three times, not once, not twice, three times, you know, I mean, this, this is a huge problem. It's a huge problem. And I say Chief Craig needs to get up and answer for that. He was the chief of police. That's right. We called for the police escort on those, on those trucks. If, it's, if we want our country back, it's not up to President Trump. It's not up to Mike Lindell. It's not up to any of the people up on the stage. It's up to each and every one of you here. Thank you for doing your part. God bless you and God bless America, everybody. You need to get a hold of your state rep and your state senator and tell them if they don't do an audit, you will not put up signs, you will not knock on doors, you will not give them money, and you sure the hell won't vote for them next year. Yeah. If the fix is in, if the fix is in, the Democrats are going to win anyway, right? Because they won't get rid of these machines. They're going to get more. They're going to get guess what? Give the power That's to right. the Democrats. Let them run it right in the ground and we'll kick their ass in 24. And that's why he's a conservative talk radio show host. You know Merrick Garland, you know who that guy is, right? He recently said that getting rowdy at a school board meeting means you might be a domestic terrorist. And I'm sure he hates what he's seeing today. And I bet you Dana Nessel hates it too. Well, I say you're just exercising your First Amendment rights to assemble, right? 
Your First Amendment right to free speech. Your First Amendment right to redress grievances to the government, right? But I tell you this, Democrats hate the First Amendment. They hate the assembly that we're doing today. They hate the free exchange of ideas. Today is about your demand for a full forensic audit in Michigan. And we demand it because the Michigan Constitution gives us that right. Yes. Article 2, Section 4 of the Michigan Constitution, it states that every elector who votes, everyone in the state of Michigan who's qualified to vote, shall have the right to conduct an audit of the statewide election. It doesn't say maybe. It doesn't say if you ask permission. In fact, later on it states that this is a self-executing right. That means you don't need permission from the government. We the people must demand transparency in Macomb County and across the entire state of Michigan. Transparency is important. Who wants to end corruption? Then get in the action. Who wants your rights restored? Then get involved today. Okay, everybody, this is the qualified voter data, I should say registration data, for, this, for Oakland and for Wayne counties. It starts on the left, and it shows you registration for the year 2000. And every year it increments another year until you get to 2020 on the right-hand side. Look at those registrations in 2020. In the year of COVID, when our DMV was closed, in the year of COVID, when we couldn't buy gardening supplies or go to restaurants, we somehow managed to register a record number of voters in the state of Michigan. And I don't care what county you look at, your chart will look exactly like this. Our qualified voter file has been damaged, and the only way that we are going to right the ship is by looking at the qualified voter file and canvassing our communities. Hey, Michigan, let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon! For decades, they gutted the middle class, stole our wealth, eroded our freedoms, and tried to turn us into their slaves so they could live as gods. In 2016, by the grace of God, the American people voted in the one And I work for the Trump campaign, and I work my ass off to get him elected. Yeah. I'm out there 12 hours a day, seven days a week, knocking doors so that we can save this country. Yeah. Yeah. And they stole it. And we are not going to forget. And we are not going to let this happen again. So when I realized that they inflated the voter rolls and gave left-wing Marxist social activists acti access to the fake names on the voter rolls to cast fake ballots, to stuff the ballot box, to steal the election, I knew we're going to hunt them down, we're going to find them. So I, I FOIA'd the clerk's office records of the absentee ballot voters in November 2020, and we decided a small group of us to start going door to door to verify if that voter information was correct. And what we found was shocking, alarming, and disgusting. It turns out about 20% of the randomly sampled voters we talked to had some form of anomaly associated with their ballot, including things like, oh, that person doesn't live here. Um, I actually don't know that person. I'm the homeowner. I've lived here for like 25 years. 
We also found people who said, I swear to you I did not vote absentee ballot. I on purpose ripped up my absentee ballot and voted in person on election day. We also found people who said, I didn't vote. I actually, on principle, I don't vote. And, and these people were willing to sign affidavits attesting to the truth of their statements. So we do have affidavits proving that this happened. I'd like to hear you scream so they can hear you very loudly that we want an audit, a full forensic audit, right now, right now. us get there. And we need you to get engaged and stay engaged. Long gone are the days when we could just vote once a year or vote every couple years or vote every four years and then go on with our lives. Because if we want to keep the freedom that our Constitution gives you, we need to fight for it every single day. Every single solitary day. Get up and ask yourself, what have I done today to make sure that I keep my liberties? Because every day they're taking them away from you. I got two text messages informing, what, informing me what let's go Brandon means. Now I know. Let's go Brandon, let's go Brandon, let's go Brandon. There are several scriptures that I want to leave with you. First of all is Nehemiah. Nehemiah was building a wall. Nehemiah was making America great again. And Nehemiah had the sand ballots and the Tobiases that were coming against him to stop the building. But Nehemiah and his, his uh, uh, team had a tool to build in one hand and a weapon of warfare in the other and he said I am doing a great work and I will not come down Michigan we are doing a great work and we will not come down Jacob wrestled with the angel all night and he told the angel I will not let go until you bless me we are telling God, we will not let go, we will not stop, we will not back up until you bless Michigan, until you bless America again. Amen. We are making America great again. We are putting prayer back in America again. We are putting God back in America again. Michigan, bless God. Father, we thank you for this gathering. We thank you, God, that we have momentum. There is a momentum of righteousness, and we will not let go until you bless us, and we will not take no for an answer. So I bless the people of God. God, seal what you have done here, and Lord, let the wind of your spirit pick us up, pick up the momentum, the prayers, the declarations, and even, Lord God, the information and, and, and uh, uh, the uh, 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 direction, Lord God, the challenges that have been released today, Father. I pray, Father, that you would breathe a breath of life upon them, and God, that this election, integrity, everything, Lord God, will be turned around in Jesus' name and for your glory. Amen. God bless you. Go with God. Michigan shall be saved. The election shall be rectified.